Here we go. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. You like that little whisper? Now, we've had an entertaining evening. I made my debut on live chat. Uh, I don't know how I got it on live chat. I just set the videos as premiere and you get a chat with it. So isn't that good? So what I'm gonna do once a week on a Wednesday evening, we're going to have live chat. Now, if anybody would like to phone in and me put you onto the uh, onto the old twelve pound ninety nine thing, I don't know what it is, but it speak it's so everybody can hear. Uh, I'll put you on that. It's like a loudspeaker thing, Bluetooth, and we can chat like that. If you want to chat boxing, I don't want to chat insults and things like obviously. We've had a certain individual this evening come on there on uh, on his various aliases and all I've got to say is that person is come on. If you've got a problem, give me a ring and we can meet up. You're supposed to be a fighting man, aren't you? Give me a ring and we'll meet up. So you you shouldn't be threatening to me, I'm not a boxer like you. Ring me, alright? But anyway, let's just jo let's go through all these things here because it's 11 o'clock at night and like I said I'm 16, 17 hours I've been at it today uh, let me put my glasses on because I'm getting a bit old now knocking on a bit right <clears throat> as you have you've just seen the Terry Chapman Dharma I played his uh, beautiful podcast a uh, little mini video he did I played it to you and I gave an opinion on it and basically it looks like certain people in the boxing industry are buying views and fudging numbers for sponsorship deals and big contracts with TV companies like Dazzle. Well, here at Porky's Corner, we don't buy a view, we're only a small little channel, as you can see, very tiny. And uh, we don't do things like that. But, we're moving forward. Now, what I'm gonna do now is talk to you about Billy Joe Saunders, I did a video the other day. Billy Joe Saunders is saying he wants to fight Canelo. And uh, Canelo, you can fight me now while you think I'm spent. Well, look, I've also heard that Billy only really wants one more fight, a proper payday. Now, they all say that, don't they? But I think that's a shame if Billy only wants one more fight. But we'll see. One bad performance doesn't make you a bad fighter, does it? But. For the hype, like I said to you, we keep going on about these great fighters at the moment. Billy Joe Saunders, for how great he is, a two-weight world champion. He's only got two wins over anybody any good, really, hasn't he? Andy Lee and David Lemieux. Yeah, he beat Chris Eubank Jr., but we don't class him as a world champion, do we? Unless you count the IBO belt, which he didn't even have then. So he's got two wins over world champions, and his best mate, Tyson Fury, we keep hearing great things about him. He's got a win over Vladimir and a win over Steve Cunningham. A blown up cruiserweight. So, are we in an era now where we hype people up because of social media? Bump, bump. Is that what it's all about? Hyping people up on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Big them up. They're great. We overuse the word great now, don't we? When I look at great fighters, I think Ray Leonard. Marvin Agler, people like that, Muhammad Ali, greats, Joe Frazier, down goes Frazier, down goes Frazier, we all remember that don't we, now, point I'm trying to make is we overuse the word great, now who is boxing in England at the moment who is really really great, come on, who are the pay per view guys in England at the moment, Let's go through them. Let's go through the pay-per-view guys in the last three years. Kel Brook. Who's Kel Brook's best win? You had to think about that, didn't you? Senchenko. Porter. Is that it? Tony Bellew. British Commonwealth European and a world champion. All vacant belts. He only beat two world champions. David A. All held together by a sellotape. And Nathan Cleverly, who we dragged up £25. And he'd not beat a champion at the time, Cleverly. 
So they're two pay-per-view stars. Amir Khan, yeah, you give him a tick. Amir Khan, but he's finished now, isn't he? He's finished, but yeah, be 10 or 11 world champions, but a lot of them were hand-picked, like Billy Dib. Yeah, you give Amir Khan a tick. Olympic silver medal, yeah. Anthony Joshua beat four world champions. You could give him a tick, you beat Vladimir, he gets a tick. Only just, but jury could be out on him. Not everybody is going to agree with me. Tyson Fury beat Vladimir before him, so he just gets a tick, but that's all he's done, isn't it, really? Is that it? Tyson Fury, Kell Brook, Anthony Joshua, Tony Bellew, Dillian White's pay-per-view star. He's never won a European title yet. He's never even fought for a world title. But he's a pay-per-view star. He's had four pay-per-views. So are we overusing the word great in this era? I think we are overusing it. I think we're overusing it by a country mile. I think that the word great is used too much. It's like somebody was saying to me the other day that uh, this is it this teeny bop or some whatever I forget some pop group or something now is uh, teeny temper or something uh, great or something so when I think of music that's great I think of Rolling Stones, Rod Stewart, Mick Jagger people like that, Beatles you know Elton John they're to me great it's not teeny temper or something what's all that about? Hey. So, yeah, we, we do overrate people at the moment in this era, but social media does that for you. What social media does, it trains the human mind. Like Eddie Earn, he's trained all you casuals, isn't he? He's brainwashed you. He's got the Sky platform, he's got the IFL platform, platform and he's got all them other platforms. And they're all doing what he says and dancing to his tune. And if you don't dance to Eddie Earn's tune, you don't get a press pass, do you? You end up like me. You end up on the other side of the fence. Well, that's the story of my life, isn't it? So, we're not talking about me here now, we're talking about greats. The word great is overused, right? I'm just saying that Dillian White ain't gonna win a world title. He's got a good trainer, hasn't he? But the point I'm trying to make is this. Dillian White and Callum Smith. Is he great, Callum Smith? I think jury's out on him. Point I'm trying to make with Callum Smith is this: he's not pay-per-view yet, and neither is Billy Joe, because they haven't really fought anybody. Have they got an elite win yet? Jury's out on Callum Smith. He beat George Groves, but he would finish one. He, Billy Joe beat Andy Lee. He didn't like middleweight, one. He moving up to middle. He had a title though, so we'll give him that win, but. They're not fighting who they should fight. Billy Joe Saunders has been supposed to fight in Golovkin and Canal for five years. Five years. Well, why, is, why does he want to fight him now? He's had five years to fight him. Maybe Canelo didn't want to fight him and he's scared of him, I don't know, because he's a technician. Who knows? Who knows what type... Who knows what Billy Joe Saunders is going to turn up? You keep going on about the David Lemieux fight. It was two years ago. Long time in boxing, that. He's been up and down in weight God knows how many times since then. Need to fight 180 pound against Charles Adamo, 42 year old, last year, last Christmas. Charles Adamo was 42 and Billy were 180 pound, but Billy fights at 160, 20 pound of a weight. Look, the dedication's not there. I don't want to go in hard on Bill, because I love Billy Joe Sons with all my heart. I think he's could be our Carl Zaggy, but. I think he's wasted his talents, but the word great is overused. Take Callum Smith for example. Who's he fighting? Who is he fighting? He's been wrapped in cotton ball all his career. That is what it is, isn't it? We're overusing the word great. Callum Smith and Dylan White were both nearly 700 days. 700 days. WBC number one mandatory. At no stage did they fight the champion. Why? But yet they're always going on about, oh, I want a title shot. Callum waited it out, didn't he? And Dillian still waited. Still waiting. He should be suing WBC for putting Tyson Fury number one. Why ain't he suing? He's not that keen to get wild a fight, is he? People keep saying they want these fights, but do, do they really want do they really want these fights? I dunno, but 
this is how I look at it. If Dylan White fights on 7th of December in Saudi Arabia and it ain't a world title fight, it's yet another payday. It's like that film, innit? Another 48 hours. 48 hours. Another 48 hours. And the third one, yet another 48, 48 hours. It's like same stuff but repeated. A bit like Eddie Hearn, isn't it, really? It repeats the same old bullshit to you over and over and over. Do you know what happens, don't you? You start to believe it, don't you? It's a bit like a Danny Dyer f film, isn't it? You go to watch a Danny Dyer film, don't you, thinking it's the business. You know, like the film, the business, which is half all right. You see Danny Dyer up front at DVD, so you buy it, and he's got one scene in it. It's a load of rubbish, isn't it? But eventually, we're trained to think, look at Danny Dyer looking tough on front of that DVD. Like me, I bought this DVD that were called Borstal. Because I were in Borstal, one in 1987, but it would change when it to uh, detention centre then. I thought, oh, I bet this is good. I bet it's like Scub, you know, with Ray Winston, a classic. But it wasn't, it was just Danny Dyer up front. We only had one scene in it, or two scenes. It's an illusion, and that's what Eddie Hearn's created with all you boxing fans out there, an illusion. And nobody wants to speak out about it. Do you know why? Because they all want to wait with him, don't they? Managers and promoters are not going to speak out, are they? Fighters are not going to want to do. They're all going to tell me, though, aren't they? So, as long as they keep telling me what's going on, I'm happy with that. All right. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging. And shout out to Innovation Alloys. Thank you very much for backing channel. All right. And then, I know you're watching. I'll see you Saturday.